Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Exotic Wine Travel. I'm your host, Matt Horky. Uh, today, we're going to switch it up a little bit. We're going to drink some white wine today, and we're going to drink actually a California Chardonnay. And I got this specifically for Shireen. And I remember when we first started going out about five years ago, one time we were uh, we were having a drink, I think, out. It was early in a relationship, and she just told me out of the blue, I only like creamy California Chardonnays. <laughs> so we're going to see if this, uh, if this holds true to the formula today. I have with me a, an Albon Clamat uh, Chardonnay from the Los Alamos Vineyard, 2013. This bad boy is a single vineyard uh, Chardonnay from Albon Clamat. This is the, th let's see, one, two, three... This is the fourth bottle of Aubon Clamat that we've that we're gonna actually taste. Uh, I've loved all the previous three that I've had, so let's see if this uh, disappoints. Usually, the creaminess in California Chardonnays comes from uh, a second fermentation called malolactic fermentation, where they change malic acid to lactic acid, and lactose, lactic acid, is in milk. So that's where you get some of the creaminess from. Um, also, Chardonnays in California tend to be a little fuller body because they're from hot weather locations versus uh, from Chablis or Chardonnay from Burgundy. So we're going to give this a try. Santa Barbara is a cooler weather portion of California. So we're going to take a look at this bad boy. I got one for you, Shireen, and one for me. We'll put this over here. And let's take a look right away. Um, a beautiful golden yellow color, uh, typical from a lot, of Chardonnay, a lot of Chardonnays that you get. Let me see what you get on the nose. Wow, so on the nose, the first thing that came to mind for me was citrus. I get a lot of citrus notes. Um, hold on one second. Not a lot of oak, surprisingly. Some floral aspects, a little bit of peach, but to me, the fruit notes aren't aren't really big and profound. Shereen, what do you think? I'm so excited I can't drink it and film at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> My hands are trembling. So the camera's shaking because Shireen's really excited. So um, on this nose, uh, uh, I'm getting, like I said, uh, not a lot of fruit components uh, I, except citrus. So let's give this a little bit of a taste. I'm going to let you right now know right now the Chardonnay is incredibly, <laughs> incredibly complex. So i got to taste it one more time so I can... It's not peach and apricot. Yeah, wow, when uh, on, the, on the palate... I get some white fruit, some pear, some peach, a little bit of apricot, and it's so funny. The mid palate transitions into um, a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of cedar. That's when you can pick up the wood, and then the end palate changes into a more of a stone and mineral characteristic. Did you pick up up on that, Shireen? Yeah. I mean, this wine is incredible. It's not superly creamy and rich. Actually, it's a little bit more minerally. Uh, I would compare it to some Chardonnays I've had out of Bone in Burgundy, actually. This wine's very good. Um, this was twenty-seven U.S. dollars. Uh, it's ninety-three points on Venus. That's Antonio Galloni's uh, website. This is a, a, a more of a red wine guy than a white wine guy, though I have been getting into whites lately. This to me is, I mean, 93 points is pretty high. It's To me, it's a 91-point wine It uh, for my palate. I think it's very good. Uh, it's heavy enough to go with foods that you would traditionally think are red wine foods, even some meats. Um, 
I think it's a very well made wine. It's so funny as I'm talking to you right now, the taste is changing up a little bit. So if you're looking for a Chardonnay um, and you want to try something a little bit different, this is not going to be big, oaky, creamy, like most California Chardonnays that you're used to. And for 26, 26, 27 bucks, I think it's a heck of a value. I'm going to show you this one more time. Aubon Clamat, like I said, never fails to impress. Uh, hopefully we get out of Santa Barbara one time and we go to visit uh, go to visit him in the winery. So that's that. Uh, if you like this video, please share it. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Exotic Wine Travel, and I'll see you at the next episode.